Hello, welcome to the next video in our series on creating instructional videos. In this video, we're going to go over very brief editing tips and how to edit your videos so that you can segment your video if you need to, or perhaps put multiple videos together and turn them into one video. Okay, so what we have here is Adobe Premiere Rush. This is a video uh, editing tool that is designed to help you quickly edit videos and edit videos on the fly. It's not a very deep editing program like Premiere Pro where you can do different types of graphics and those types of things. You can just do very simple edits and very simple texts. Um, you can also do some simple color correction. We're going to go over just the basics here about how to put your instructional videos together and also how to potentially put some um, B-roll shots over what you're talking about, okay? So this is the homepage for Adobe Premiere Rush. The first thing you're going to want to do is click on Create a New Project, which is gonna be this blue button in the left-hand side. So once you hit Create a New Project, you can see what this does is it brings up your file structure of your um, computer. So you can add your desktop here, your documents, your downloads. And what you can do is you can create, you can pick and choose different videos that you want to import into um, your project, okay? So for instance, I'm just gonna go into grad school and I'm going to go into, um, you can see I need to organize this a little bit. I'm gonna go into practicum videos. But what I'm going to do is select some different videos from this series just to use as an example. So whatever video you want to have first, let's say you have three different videos that you want to combine into one. What you're going to do is select the first one that you want first, and you can see it's gonna put a number one on top. And then you're gonna go number two, you can see it's gonna put a number two on top. And then you're gonna select your third one, you can see it puts three on top. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna to try to help you, and it's gonna put these in order that you selected them on your timeline, which you're gonna get into in just a second, okay? Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to name your project, let's just call it instructional video. And then you're going to click this blue button in the bottom right part of the screen and it will create. So it's preparing your media. And what you can see what this has done is it has put your three videos in order, okay? So if we scrub through these, we'll see the entire video, right? And then it goes from one to the next, okay? So it has put your three videos in order, all right? Let's say you need to trim one of these videos, okay? Let's say you want to stop this video at the 445 mark, okay? What you can do is you can hover over this yellow part, you can click, and drag, and it's going to shorten that video, and it's gonna put the next video behind it closer in, okay? So did everybody see that? So click, drag, okay? So now you've shortened this first video at 445. You can see the entire duration of our video is 16 minutes and 15 seconds, okay? Now, if you click this button up here, this is going to show you your assets, okay? So you can see you have your sequence here, which this is your sequence, also known as a timeline. This is where you're putting your videos in one by one. Okay, so that is called a sequence. Um, then you're gonna have your different videos that you've imported, okay? You can see those here. All right, now let's say you decide you don't want one of these videos in your timeline or your sequence. You can click and you can see when I click it, it highlights it in orange, right? Again, we can trim here. We can trim off the front here, right? By just dragging back and forth. What you can also do is select the whole thing and push the delete button. And then that took that entire video out of the sequence. And again, Command Z will undo that. You can click and you can delete that out of the entire sequence. Okay, so now we just have these two videos back to back that would play out. You can see this bottom blue part here. This is your audio meter. That's just gonna show you that you have audio. So when you play it back, you can see these audio level so move over here, which means your audio is in good range. You can also listen to it as you play it back, okay? The next thing you can do is you can make cuts within this video, okay? So let's say you wanted to, instead of dragging, you had this timeline, this uh, playhead, excuse me, put at a certain spot. You can hit this scissors and you can see it'll trim that. And now you have two different clips, okay? The same thing here, you can click, you can delete this clip. Okay, so that's going to break up clips into separate clips. It's gonna take one clip, turn it into two. And again, you can do this as much as you want to as you play through here. Now we have three separate clips, you see, okay? Um, you can duplicate a clip if you wanna use it more than once. Um, you can trash a clip. This is the same thing as hitting the delete button. Uh, you can also click this and you can see how that changes just kind of your layout a little bit. 
and you can go back and forth, okay? Um, across the right side here, you're going to have a couple of tools. You'll have crop and rotate, which means you can change the horizontal and vertical position, right? You can move this around. You can rotate it. You need to do that for some reason. Um, you can also play with the opacity, which is the brightness level. Um, so you can bring this down. If you have two clips layered, which we'll go over in just a second, um, that might help you. All right, this is your audio. Um, you can change the volume of your clip, right? From 50, bring it on up. That's gonna be your basic audio um, editor. Uh, we're not gonna worry about speed or color for this. Um, there are a few effects you can put in here. Like if you wanna dissolve between one clip to the other, you just click and drag and put that on the break. And now you can see this will this all from one video to the next, okay? You can also dip from black, which you might wanna do at the beginning and you can see it'll start in black and come up. Um, you can go from white, uh, if you wanna put that on the beginning. Um, you can see it has that white flash that comes in. Now let's say you wanted to add something, a video clip on top of a video clip. So let's say you're talking about something and you want to add B-roll to that, okay? So let's just use one of these as an example. So if you double click, it'll load this up. Um, it'll load this, I'm sorry, you don't want to double click there. So edit. All right, so now what you can do is you can drag and you can put this on the layer on top. Okay, so now you have two different layers. Okay, so it's gonna go from this one and then it's going to play the next layer. Okay, so you can see it kind of jumped back to the start because that's kind of where I had that there. Okay, so this was the start. So you can add that there okay so you can add different layers you can go up to a couple of layers of text right you can layer these and now it'll play whatever's on the top layer is what you're going to see okay and again to delete just click delete okay there's a few things you can add here within premiere rush if you want to upload more media you can go here if you want to bring in some music you can bring in audio here you can also record your own voiceover so if you click this um, you can voice over as you play through. You can see here, you just click this record button. Uh, it needs access to the microphone. You can allow that. It'll give you a countdown and then it'll start playing your timeline. And you can see as I talk, it's recording this voice over here over, which is, you know, currently existing voiceover. But if you didn't have this existing voiceover and you wanted to edit the video, just the video, and then put the voiceover in later, you could do that as well. So you can see when I stop this, now I have this voice over here. Um, that plays back over that, okay? Now, once you have finished, let's say this was our sequence, this is a nine minute sequence. Once you have finished, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna export your video out. So you're going to hit share, and then you can name this, whatever you'd like to name it. Well, again, we're just gonna call it instructional video. And then you're gonna save it to wherever you want it to save. You can see it's giving you an estimated file size. If you want to log into your Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and have it do that automatically, you can. I prefer to do it locally and then put it wherever you want it from there. So once you've done that, you hit export and it's going to render this and it will put this in your local drive. You can see it's gonna take about a minute and a half to do a nine minute video. Okay, so that's how you're going to do some simple edits. Just put your different uh, videos together in a timeline or shorten videos as you need to. For example, if you had a 50 minute video that you needed to segment, you saw how we could go in and cut those up and create them into different sequences. All right, so that is the editing version of our instructional video creation using Adobe Premiere Rush.